Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video, guys. If you have a BMW X1, guys, and you want to know what are the symptoms of a uh, leaking fuel injector, guys, and how a leaking fuel injector can completely destroy your engine. Make sure you stay until the end, guys. We'll share two reasons that can destroy your engine, and we will explain that as we go. Now, uh, if you guys need to buy any tools, parts, fuel injectors, anything like that for your BMW X1, guys, we'll share the links in the description of the video below, guys, for your convenience. Number two, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you guys. So, doesn't matter if you have a four, six cylinder gasoline engine, direct or non-direct fuel injectors, the symptoms will be the same. Okay, and it can cause the same trouble to your car. We are specifically making this video, guys, because many of you actually asked us to provide that information, and there is actually very limited information on BMW X1. So that's why we are making it. Some of you don't know, but the same engine have been used in BMW 3 Series, 5 Series, X1, X3, and even X5 uh, BMW, guys. So this is a fuel injector, non-direct fuel injection system, guys. If you had direct fuel injection system, they will be bigger, longer, and they will be located usually between the ignition coils, those, they're located on the cylinder head towards the side of the intake manifold. This is the fuel rail, it delivers fuel and it's kind of like a pipe with fuel to every fuel injector. And guys, leaking fuel injector, how are you going to detect that? A leaking fuel injector is a fuel injector that doesn't close all the way, guys. Doesn't close all the way. Maybe there is something stuck inside, maybe the mechanism broke, and as a result, it will start dripping fuel when it's supposed to be closed and not spraying. Let's say maybe you even turn your car off and it will keep dripping fuel. Now, number one uh, thing that you notice of uh, uh, usually leaking fuel injector, guys, is engine misfire. And let's say you have, guys, misfire on cylinder number three, you have engine light on and you have a code such as P0303, guys. That will say engine misfire on cylinder number three. The last digit of your code corresponds to the cylinder number and the fuel injector number. So let's say you have a 301, that will be cylinder number one, fuel injector number one, guys. 303 will be cylinder number three, fuel injector number three, and 302 will be number two, guys. So you get the idea. But when you have an engine misfire, it means that that cylinder is not working correctly because most likely the spark plug is wet and as a result it will not fire. That can cause engine vibrations, rough idle guys, another two symptoms, and you will notice decreased power, your car will not be as powerful, and you will guys notice increased fuel consumption, like big time fuel consumption, maybe at least 30% guys increased fuel consumption, okay, I would say if you have one bad fuel injector. So that's very likely guys. Okay, what else? Okay, what else can cause leaking fuel injector? You have oxygen sensors that are mounted on the exhaust manifold. And uh, on six cylinder engine, you have two of them. On four cylinder engine, you have one. These fuel injectors, uh, these oxygen sensors detect the amount of fuel and air in your exhaust system. And if you have a leaking fuel injector, you will put too much fuel in your, uh, in your system. And as a result, you will have unburned fuel in the exhaust and your car may throw a code for your uh, fuel system running rich, which is very, very likely, guys. Now, Another thing, okay, that's where things get really, really complicated. First, you don't want to drive with a misfire and bend injector for a long time because that can cause damage to valves, piston rings, quite a few things. But uh, something else, guys, that fuel injector, when it leaks, it will actually, let's say you park your car, it will leak fuel, it drips a few drops and eventually makes its way around the piston rings because uh, fuel is very thin and if it's in a small amount, it can go around the piston rings, go to the oil pan and mixes, that fuel mixes, gasoline mixes with engine oil. It makes your engine oil very thin, not lubricating enough, and as a result, you can throw, guys, uh, crankshaft bearings, rod bearings, camshaft bearings, you can destroy piston rings, cylinder head, guys, so you may just say goodbye to your engine at that point. So, if you suspect that you have a bad fuel injector, guys, Leaking fuel injector, drain the engine oil, make sure it's not too thin, doesn't smell terribly like gasoline because it means that you're putting gasoline in your engine oil and that the engine oil is not increasing because uh, the more gasoline you put, the more, uh, okay, oh, when gasoline will mix and your engine oil level will actually increase. Uh, number two, guys, okay, 
If that injector leaks really bad, fast, what can happen? Your BMW has a self-priming system when you open your door usually or before you start your car, sometimes even sitting, it can activate the fuse system to build pressure so that way you can, uh, once you get in the car, it can start really quick. But uh, guys, that can have a downside if you have a fuel in a leaking fuel injector because you may keep putting fuel in that cylinder, okay, that uh, the fuel injector is leaking in. You may put so much fuel that it will not have enough time to go around the piston rings. Let's say you try to start your car, your cylinder is full of gasoline. At that point, you're hydrolocking your engine. It may not turn over or you may bend a, a connecting rod or break connecting rod. We've had that happen before in the past, guys. So, you uh, have to be extremely careful, guys. And once you suspect the leaking fuel injector, fix it as fast as you can. We have a video on the channel that will actually explain how to test for leaking fuel injectors coming very soon so please subscribe to the channel hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time